The Newark Octagon Complex is owned by the Ohio Historical Society, a nonprofit corporation largely funded by the state. Because the society has leased the land to the Mound Builders Country Club, public access is restricted while golf is being played. The club claims that it has maintained the land with care and that without the golf course, development would probably have destroyed the earthworks long ago. But pressure has grown to open the earthworks more fully to the public. In 2002, a woman of Cherokee heritage was arrested for trespassing when she went to pray at the earthworks during golf time. Barbara Crandall explains why she was willing to risk arrest, the ancestral connection she feels to the earthworks. When I go to the mound, I feel a great welling up of pride and love for my people. I love my ancestors. I love their bones. That's the way I was brought up. I, I have great reverence for them. And every one of those mounds, I know that their hands lovingly gathered the dirt and put it there. And I can feel their hands patting me when I go there. So that's why I think it was left as a trail for Native people to follow. Go there and connect with your ancestors so that you can walk a good path. But it, it, it's, uh, it, it is, it's, it's terrible that people are not allowed to go to these places. I mean, they're not just for Indian people. I mean, I think I connect with them maybe in a different way, but all peoples should be able to go there. They should be able to go there and see this wonderful sight. And I'd like to have it open for everybody.